Tonight's top story, refugee resettlement, your safety and your money. Good evening and welcome to 630 Point of View. I'm Chris Berg. Thanks so much for joining us. Back in 2010, North Dakota actually turned over the refugee resettlement program to Lutheran Social Services. It's a nonprofit organization. What I'm really curious about tonight is do you feel it's a good thing that LSS is running North Dakota's refugee resettlement program or should the state be running this program? Well, earlier today, I asked Governor Jack Dalrymple about this and much, much more. Governor Dalrymple, thanks so much for taking the time to join us, sir. I want to jump right in. Uh, but Tuesday, you obviously were on a call with the White House with a bunch of different governors. After that phone call, you came out and said, you know what, I'm going to send a letter to President Barack Obama to halt the Syrian refugees resettling, obviously, here in America. And I got a question for you. I want to share a couple items with you and then ask you the question. According to the Refugee Act well, of 19... Chris, let me Chris, let me, let me clarify something uh, first before you go any further. Um, uh, first of all, I uh, put a letter together uh, before I talked to anybody uh, in a conference call uh, to be ready to go to the president. Uh, but, you know, what we were talking about on Tuesday uh, was asking the president of the United States uh, to tighten up the process of screening uh, people who are applying for uh, refugee resettlement. And uh, that is what uh, is being asked, and uh, that is what we certainly hope the president will do. So it doesn't sound like he's going to do that. He's come out and said, because the bill just actually passed today in the House, where the House is asking for the same thing, Governor, and yet uh, President Barack Obama says he's going to veto that. So with, in that context, um, what I'm hearing you say is, hey, if he doesn't shape this up or have better vetting process, then you would not want Syrian refugees yeah. coming into America. Is that accurate? Well, yes. I, what concerns me is that uh, the FBI itself, you know, has said that uh, they feel there are holes in the process that they're using. Uh, the data that they get uh, for people coming in from Syria uh, is not as good as what they get uh, from other countries, and including even Iraq. And, uh, you know, when the FBI itself uh, expresses concern, uh, I think that means we need to uh, tighten up the process. I completely concur with you. The big question is, you know, with yourself and the other governors uh, that are requesting that, hey, we don't want Syrian refugees coming into our state right now, do you have any legal authority to do that? Well, ultimately, uh, no. A, a governor cannot say, you know, a refugee, uh, a certain refugee may not enter my state's uh, borders. Uh, but we certainly uh, can ask what the process is to vet all of the people who are being admitted to the resettlement program. And, uh, you know, we, we definitely uh, insist on the right to do that. Governor, one of the questions I'm getting from a lot of people out there is in 2010, you turned over the refugee resettlement program to Lutheran Social Services of North Dakota. What was the thought process behind that? Why did you do that? Well, back in 2010, uh, really, it was just an efficiency uh, move, and uh, that was, you know, before my time as governor. But what is really important is that uh, we were really not actively overseeing the program even at that time we were a fiscal pass-through agent uh, we received some funds which we in turn would distribute out to Lutheran Social Services uh, but they have always been in charge of administering that program uh, providing the services and uh, you know keeping track of the uh, numbers of refugees do you know does Lutheran Social Services get state and or local tax money and if so how much and, and let me put it in this context, in the context of refugee resettlement. Uh, no, the, the refugee resettlement program is essentially uh, supported by federal funds. Uh, and uh, they even have a special category of uh, Medicaid for refugee resettlement. Uh, so, you know, we oversee it somewhat. There's some minor portions of it that we uh, track specifically having to do with minors. Uh, but for the most part, uh, Lutheran Social Services does run the program. But when you look at like TANF and or even the education money that goes into English second language educators and teachers and whatnot, that would be considered local tax money, correct? 
Uh, no, all of the uh, translators and the tutors and, and that type of support uh, is part of the federal program. Uh, ultimately, the state has a, a cost share of Medicaid, uh, but uh, this is a special appropriation uh, out, you know, above and beyond the regular Medicaid program. So what I'm hearing you say, just for clarity, because this is the big question I'm getting, Governor, is that there are zero state tax dollars or zero local dollars that are going to subsidize, help, however, whatever word you want to use, uh, refugees that are resettling in North Dakota. Uh, the only thing that there would be is if, uh, you know, we're required to do a cost share uh, on some Medicaid services. So my question then along those lines, because you've got a private nonprofit handling this, does this then equate to taxation without representation, and are you okay with that? Well, it is a federally supported program. Uh, you know, we do uh, receive regular reports, uh, three reports a year from L uh, Lutheran Social Services, and they have to uh, report to us uh, the numbers of people that they're uh, dealing with and where they're located, and, uh, you know, we certainly can get information from them uh, any time we want. But no, it is essentially, um, you know, a, a federally supported program. Governor, I gotta, we, we did a poll, as I'm sure you know, here at Valley News Live about refugee resettlement in our area. I want to share with you a couple questions and then the public's response and then just give you a chance uh, to respond to them. One of the questions was this specifically, sure. do you support or oppose public funds being used for refugee resettlement programs such as cash, assi cash assistance? 55% oppose uh, using any cash assistance or public funds for refugee resettlement. The other question is, do you believe organizations that resettle refugees, like Lutheran Social Services, should or should not bear the most responsibility for these individuals? 73% said that Lutheran Social Services should bear most of the responsibility. Your comments on, the, on, the, on that, sir? Well, you know, now we're talking about, uh, you know, the spending of our all of our federal tax dollars and uh, of course everybody you know has a, their own opinion on certain programs uh, generally speaking I would like to say that you know human services programs of this type uh, really should re rely primarily on the uh, nonprofit uh, the charitable agency uh, they bring these programs forward they run them uh, they really should be uh, putting in the majority of the financial support uh, but there are many, many programs of this type, uh, Chris, as you know, where the uh, federal government does play a role uh, providing supplemental funds. And uh, this is just another one of those kinds of programs. Governor Jack Dalrymple, thank you so much for your time, sir. I really, really appreciate it. It's been a hot topic for you all, wait, all week, so we appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chris. And, uh, you know, I just uh, uh, want to clarify one thing. You know, initially on Monday, uh, the question came to me, you know, do we have uh, Syrian refugees uh, in North Dakota? And uh, that question was uh, answered by me on Monday that, uh, you know, we do not have uh, Syrian refugees here, nor do we expect to have in the future. Uh, but on Tuesday, uh, I made a statement about the federal government's uh, role in this whole situation and whether or not... Uh, a refugee is coming to North Dakota or not, uh, we want to know that they have been thoroughly screened, especially now, after France, and we want to know that that process is airtight. Thank you for saying that, Governor. I know a lot of people want to hear you say that, so I appreciate you saying that here on 630 Point of View. Stay with us, because when we come back, believe it or not, roughly 10% of our youth in this Fargo area uh, had serious considerations about committing suicide in 2013. Valley News Live's Stephanie Getz has experienced suicide loss in her life. She's going to share with you what she's doing in our community to help prevent this. So much more coming up. And as always, I invite you to join our conversation. Love to know your thoughts on what Governor Jack Dalrymple there said about the refugee resettlement program. You can text us, email us, use Twitter, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back.